Chrissy Swan Show. Oh, juicy show for you today. Juicy, juicy, delicious. How are you, Jack? I'm great. I want to hear about the TV show you watched last night. I know, I can't stop talking about it with everyone. It's The Idol. The Idol. Um, I can't wait for the full feedback on that. I've got so many delicious things that I need to talk about. Drew Barrymore has not only sat down for a great interview, she's hit back at the tabloids for twisting her words. I mean, I just love her so much. She's so you as well. Oh, I love her. She's like the American version of you. Well, that is kind. I know. No, it's the biggest compliment. Like, watching you two, even physically, she even, like, behaves like you do. If if she were to shuffle off this, this mortal coil, I would need a day off. Okay. I'm I'm putting that in now. I'm emailing because our I boss love her. Thank you so him, much. Thank you know. so much. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's clickbait. Now, what's caught my attention on the world wide web today? Oh, world. Lewis Hamilton has posed with his arm around Shakira. Shakira, in a cosy photo, they're in Spain. Living. Don't you wonder what these people do for a living? I mean, he rides, he drives cars, obviously, for a living. Mm. And she doesn't pay her taxes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, take that back. I was just doing some Googling. She's apparently repaid all of the 14.5 million euros plus interest. God, that seems like a lot of money. Doesn't it? I would just bury myself in a hole, <laughs> never to be seen again. <laughs> See you later, tax man. See ya. I'm out of here. Um, but they're, they're both in Spain. He's working uh, at the Grand Prix of Spain, the Grand Prix. And they're out for dinner. She's newly single. Well, she was hanging out with Tom Cruise at the Miami Grand Prix, was it? Yes, but she has said that there's no romance there. But it's weird to be at two Grand Prix in a row. Yeah. And not be with Lewis Hamilton. I'm just saying. Look, I feel like good, that is. I think they're a good couple. In. Yeah, I agree. I'm purely basing that off how they look together, but. And also, she's come out of a long marriage. It's been a long time since she's had any action. I'm just saying. Good on you, Shakira. <laughs> Jennifer Garner has been spotted in Disneyland. Can I tell you, out of like I've got a little clutch of celebrity women that I love in a way that I don't love normal people. Like I love yeah, right. Jennifer Garner. I think she's one of the nicest people in the world. Of course I've got no idea. Was about there a her. show that like made you fall in love with her or any any work in particular? No, I think it's how she dealt with her relationship breakdown with Ben Affleck. Okay. And if you follow her on Instagram, She's just a really good egg. Yeah. She's kind and goofy and she cooks. And I don't know, I just really like her. And this is just another feather in, in her cap. She's been spotted at Disneyland with her daughter. Fair enough. I mean, it's everyone's dream to take their kids to Disneyland. Remember, we just gave that holiday to Joe. How oh good my was God, that? It was so good. Um, of course, Jennifer Garner can afford to go to Disneyland and no worries there. But she's been snapped with her daughter, her youngest daughter, Serafina who she had with Ben Affleck. But look who else is there. Jennifer Lopez's daughter. Oh, that's cute. So how evolved is Jen Garner? She's gone to Disneyland with her kid and the kid of her ex's new wife. Whilst Ben and Jen are probably busy fighting at home. Yes. Slamming car doors on each other. Fight, fighting over the, the rug selection <laughs> yeah. in their $60 million home. The Chrissy Swan Show. Who doesn't love paying less for their favourite beauty brands? Love paying less for glowing skin or love paying less for feeling better? Find great prices on everything you love only at Priceline Pharmacy. Shop in store or online at priceline.com.au. Herbert Adams Pies are the gourmet for the everyday. Find them from the supermarket freezer aisle or at your local service station. Wait a minute. Chrissy Swans. Who are you? Who am I? Oh, Jody, we've cooked up $500 for you thanks to Herbert Adams Pies. Are you ready to receive it? I'm so excited. I'm yes. so ready. We're going to squirt sauce all over it for you. <laughs> <laughs> a special <laughs> favour. All right, Jody. here's how it works. I've got five clues here about a particular celebrity and $500 cash. Each incorrect guess you make, I'm going to take away $100. No questions asked, okay? Okay, got it. All right, so you've got five seconds to put your guess in. Jack's really quick off the buzzer, so you better be I careful. I like you, though, Jodie. I'll be nice. Okay, okay good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Let's give her seven seconds. <laughs> Seven's a bit much. Come Clue on. number one. <laughs> I am an actress who wasn't born until the 1980s, but got my start in the 70s. How could that happen? Maybe the show name. Uh, uh, come on. Oh, um, Mila Kunis? Yeah! 
Yes! I didn't give any extra hints there. I was just explaining the question, Jack. Explaining the question whilst giving the answer. No, but Jody, not at all. Yay! I love Mila Kunis. Well, you would have got it anyway. See, your love has paid off $500 thanks to Herbert Adams Pies. Oh, that's so awesome. Thanks, guys. Yes, it guys. is. I just want to talk to you a little bit about Herbert Adams Pies for a second while I've got you. Yeah. <laughs> when I do them at home, um, I have two things that I always serve with the pie. If you can guess it, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you an extra prize. Okay. Two okay. things. Okay. So on two the plate things. is the Herbert Adams pie and two um, other things every time. Okay. Always you have are, it. You are only giving this prize if she gets it correct because I know how you operate. <laughs> You've got to get this right, Jodie. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Um, mashed potato. Yes. And gravy. Oh, no. no. Oh, I was going to say uh, um, mushy peas. It that was, was my peas. Neck. It was oh, peas. Damn. Oh, damn. God Damn. <laughs> Oh, well, just check your post box. I should have said mushy peas. I know you like mushy peas. I do. I love a pea. I know that about you. How do you know that about her, (laughs) Jodie? I just feel it. No, I follow on Instagram and I saw you guys in Adelaide and you were trying the... Oh, the pie floater. The pie pie floater, yes. (laughs) Made better by mushy peas. God love you, Jodie. That's $500 to kick off your midweek. Well done, darling. You guys are awesome. You are awesome. Your bills. Cost of living has gone through the roof. This nobody can deny. Ellie, are you feeling the pinch? I absolutely am. Have you? You're renting, aren't you? Yeah. Renting. Have you been? Have you received one of those awful letters from the landlord saying we're we're hiking it up by a ridiculous amount? We have, but thankfully it wasn't too much. Only by thirty bucks a week. Oh, thank God! But still, still, yeah, still. It yeah, matters. you must have you must have opened that email or letter just with the wincing, wondering how much it was going to be. Yeah, definitely. All righty, now you've sent us in a bill. What is it? My rent bill. Your rent bill. Was it for the old amount or the new revised the amount? New. Good. The new. How much? Yeah. It's 580. I reckon so we not get terrible considering. Not but terrible. It's still a big bill. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we're going to take care of that for you, Ellie. Oh, you're a face. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. Now, as my dad says, don't spend it on other things. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. I would. To. Oh, God, don't we all? You're going to have a great weekend oh. with that, Ellie. Hit every yeah. pub. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, I won't. Thank but you. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much for entering. If you want to be lucky like Ellie, just head to the Nova Player app, send us a copy of the bill that you want us to pay, and we will do it. It's that easy. Now, on to my second queen, Drew Barrymore. You know, my first queen is Taylor Swift. Yes. Uh, Drew Barrymore, I just love her. I love her authenticity. I love her wackiness. Um, I just I just think she's wonderful. And she sat down with the New York uh, magazine. It's called New York magazine, yes. Uh, and, I mean, I would listen to her read a recipe. Like, I just think she's fascinating. Um, and she's talked about the fraught relationship that she's had with her mother ever since she was a child. To fill you in, I mean, Drew Barrymore is extraordinary. In a similar way to Brooke, Brooke Shields, right? They had these unusual mothers, and they are sane despite it. And I just, I just love this. I love this narrative. I had no idea how sort of hectic her childhood was until reading about it this morning. And yeah, she really was just put out to work. Absolutely, like, Abs- absolutely. She was the 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 ticket, the, yeah. the golden goose. And her mother treated her like, as she says in this uh, interview, t- treated her like a friend and client and often took her to Hollywood parties. Drew tried her first booze for the first time at age eight. That's like grade three. Nuts. Uh, and tried other, much harder drugs uh, for the first time at age 12, like grade six. It's just crazy. She went to rehab many times in her teens, but her mum often removed her from rehab to film more movies. And I think that that tells you everything you need to know. It's got a bit of uh, Britney Spears's dad about it. Yeah. That vibe. Absolutely. Um, but Brew, Drew is not bitter, which is why I love her. She says, I choose very consciously not to see my life as things that have been done 
done to me. I want to see it as things I did and chose to do. I'm not attracted to people who lay blame on others. That is big. Right? And that would be really hard to come to that sort of place in your life. Yeah. Because most people just would be angry. It would just be so easy to be forever angry and bitter. Absolutely. But she goes on to say that she's totally forgiven her mother. It's all wow. fine. She still supports her financially, but they are estranged. I mean, of course. Yeah. But it's working out, you know. She's said enough is enough, and she emancipated herself from her anyway in her teens. But the tabloids, of course, have taken everything out of context and written all sorts of terrible articles, completely putting words in Drew's mouth. Well, she has some things to say about that. You know what? To all you tabloids out there, you have been f***ing with my life since I was 13 years old. Don't twist my words around or ever say that I wish my mother was dead. I have never said that. I never would. Yes. Good on her. Good on her. It is too much, you know. Too much. I've also never heard her get angry like that since she played uh, Dylan Saunders in Charlie's Angels. Your favourite film of all time. (laughs) The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. We're about to do Chrissy's Quizzy. And we're also going to talk about the show that debuted last night, The Idol. I'm with, obsessed. With Lily Rose Ooh, Depp. You very showed me sad a sad story. Sorry, let's let me the mood. Very risque picture. <laughs> Do you like that I picked the most graphic part of the episode? I was like, when I came into work today, I said, what was that on her face? And you told me, and I thought, yeah, I thought so. I rewound it just to get it to sounds that Sounds like the sort of thing I don't want to miss. But um, we've actually both got curly questions. Yeah, he's and amazing. And we both he's have curly like hair. Terrifyingly good. Okay. He plays a really yes, creepy character and nails it. And Lily Rose Depp is just um, a star. We've both got curly what, questions and curly hair, you and I. We do. It's on Bill and Alex. Okay. So the streamer. And I think if you have Fox Bill, you really can get it on demand. Absolutely. Do not give away too much. Hi, Isabel. How are you? Chrissy's Chrissy. She's got the and curly Lily questions come in and spinner. the cash to give away. Hit the Nova Win page for oh, your chance to play You sound Chrissy's about 11, are you? McCain pub style chip. We've actually both got curly questions oh, and we both have curly hair. There is a I bum bag up for grabs an and I did see yes, a little bit yourself. of footage on Instagram <laughs> this week. 100% on the beach with his um, own We've both got bum curly bag questions and curly shells. hair, you and I. We do. I'm and full of cowlicks. I had my haircut this morning. Poor Bill gets really annoyed with my cowlicks. Oh, tough enough. All right, ladies. Hi, Isabel. How are you? It is the best of five in Chrissy's Quizzy. Good. And Lily, come in spinner. Not only wins the game and walks away with the money can't buy Chrissy Swan Show You sound about 11, are you? You'll get $200 cash and $200 to spend. I was going to say that's a shame because there is a bum bag up for grabs and I did see a little bit of footage on Instagram this week with a toddler on the beach with his own bum bag filling it full of shells. Season two And somebody sent it to me and said, start a early Swanee night. I said, absolutely. Colt, you've got going. So I know. All right, fair. ladies, your names are your yesterday. buzzers. It is Who the best of five in Chrissy's yes, Quizzy Lily. Lily. First person to get three answers Crazy. correct. No. Not only wins the game Isabel, and walks away yeah, with the money can't buy Chrissy Ali Swan Ali Show correct. bum bag, you'll also well get $200 yesterday. cash and two, $200 to slang. spend on delicious McCain Pits and Bob's Yum. I would absolutely slaughter a bowl of air fried chips right now. All right, question number one. I'm salivating. Season two of Parental Guidance kicked off on Channel 9 last night. Like the host of the show, I also on a current affair, was outside. on this show oh. yesterday. Who am I? T- <laughs> yes, Question Lily. Three. Twelve years ago Thank today, you, Katy Perry oh, no. received release. <gasps> Isabel, no. you have a crack? Correct. Yes, she was Lily. on this show as well yesterday. Oh, Question number two. Yes. In Australian How slang, was when she what was like a, a Matilda? Nerd? Nerd? And she had the b- braces really? yes, Isabel. Isabel. on. Is it a Joey? Maybe, maybe I no. only remember that. Uh, Question this. number four. Really? Hey, score check, Any Jack. guesses? Uh, one point to is uh, one point No, it's a swag. Okay. What Question you lay down for. Oh, yeah. oh. Name the actress and singer behind the TV show, Lizzie McGuire. Oh, Isabel. Guess Lily. Isabel. <laughs> Question number three. It is Twelve Hillary years Duff. ago today, Katy one Perry received, is, uh, released this Rich song. Australian Prime Minister. Lily. Yes, Lily. Lily. Yes, Lily. Yes, Lily. Yes. How good was yes. when she was like a, a nerd and she had the b- braces headgear on? Lily. Even Stevens, yeah? Yeah, maybe, maybe I only <laughs> remember that. Question number four. Hey, Which? score check, Jack. Oh, uh, where? One point Sorry. is uh, one Can't point read. to Lily. Where okay. is the champagne? Question number four. Name the actress region. and singer behind the TV show, yes, Lizzie McGuire. Isabel. Yes, Isabel. Yes. Isabel. yes. 
Hillary oh Duff. It God, is Hillary Duff. Hard one off the win, battle. is a well done, Isabel. Which Australian Prime Minister bag, disappeared in 1960? Really? Yes, Lily. To spend on delicious Harold Holt. Hot. Yes. Oh. While swimming. Oh. My God. Good job. Even Stevens, yeah? Yeah, this one is for the win, ladies. Thank you. Bye. Which? Oh, where? Sorry. Can't read. Where is the Champagne wine region located? Isabel. Yes, Isabel, for the win? France. Yes. Oh, my God. That was a hard fought and won battle. Well done, Isabel. You've got you. the bum bag, but also $200 cash and $200 to spend on delicious, hot, crispy mm. McCain's things. That is amazing. You Thank you both so, so much. You're so lucky. Have a beautiful Tuesday. We love you. Thank you. Bye. The Chrissy Swan Show. You know, I can't be trusted with a panel of buttons in front of me, and I did turn my microphone <laughs> on in the middle of that song, and you might have heard me say, what an extraordinary case. Of course, I'm reading about Kathleen Folbig that's just been pardoned. I know. From from the, her crimes and from jail. And, I mean, what an extraordinary case. We might talk about that later. At the moment, I want to talk about Kim Kardashian, which is, uh, you know, some would say a, a change of pace, but she's, st- you know, she's a lawyer. Um, she has posted an adorable uh, screenshot to Instagram. As you know, when little kids go to school, and she's got four of them, they often write little fill in the blanks about their mums for Mother's Day and whatever. And they are always so cute because little kids often don't know anything about their mum. No. Like, and I even remember in primary school being guided by my teacher on what to write. Yeah. Like they the teacher would prompt you. Like so does mum knit? What, yes. Does mum like watching Lee Sales on Australian yeah, Story? I know, yes. <laughs> Do you they, know what I mean? they did because most kids are like, I don't know, yeah. whatever. She cooks for me, man. She's there, exactly. Yeah. Well, her daughter, Chicago, which, by the way, is one of the great names of all time, Chicago. When they um, so great. Write the, when Kim writes C-H-I, would she call her Shy or Chai? Shy. Shy, okay. Yeah. I've always wondered. Yeah, I, I've heard her say it. I can't believe that yeah, you I haven't know. heard her say it. Um, but her daughter, Chicago, I'm going to use her full name because I love it, um, has been at school and it says, all about my mom. Tell me about my mom. My mom is 22 years old. <laughs> I mean, she does look good. She's 42. She likes to sleep with me. That's nice. The best thing she cooks is, this is my favourite, Mom doesn't cook. (laughs) She has a chef. That's so good. It goes on, though. It's so great. Her favourite food is salad. The favourite thing she does to relax is lie down in her bed. (laughs) Um, And she is really good at going to the gym. I I just love this. The best thing she cooks is mum doesn't cook. She has a chef. How many kids can say that? At least Shai's honest. There's another great little thing that that does the rounds every year or so of a picture that a kid has drawn of their mother. Um, you know, a picture of love, you know, the, this is my mum and I love her and the, the, the figure is clearly pole dancing. <laughs> and and wow. the mother got the card and saw this pole dancing oh. and she had to write a letter to the teacher going, I just want to say, for the record, I have never been a pole dancer. Sure. Yeah, I, and I, I, I still don't know what the kid was getting at. But some kids have loose lips. Do, do Have any of yours ever exposed anything at home? Yes. At, sorry, at school from home? Yes, they have. I remember I had a 13, 24, 10, by the way. Give us a call. What has your kid outed you as? Or what have, what have you had to clarify with the people in charge? All right, because kids just talk and talk and talk and talk. And they don't realise nothing they're embarrassing. No, their nothing is sacred. Nothing is secret. And I remember Peg, who's now ten, but have a chat, like loves to talk. Yeah. And I don't know where she gets that from. <laughs> I was about to say that. And she was at kindy, and I don't know what exactly she was saying, but her teacher pulled me aside when I was picking her up one day. And she goes, I think um, I've tried to broach this with Peggy, um, but I would just like you to have a chat with her just around the idea that some family stories need to just stay in the family. And I was so mortified, but also curious, but not curious enough to have that teacher relay to me the stuff 
that Peg was saying. Because Peg could be delivering some seriously good showbiz tea. Like, One hundred percent, and she loves the tea. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. We're talking about all the times that your kids have talked out of school about you. Have outed you. Yeah. Uh, Kim Kardashian has posted a little picture to her Instagram account. A screenshot of a little assignment that her daughter, Chicago, has uh, has filled out. The best thing that my mom cooks is... Mum doesn't cook, she has a chef. <laughs> I just love that so much. Straight up honesty. I respect it. Yeah, and then Kim's followed it up with pictures of her cooking in the White House kitchen be- Bef- before Chicago's Before time. Shia was born. Like, it doesn't count, man. It, and it's summary. A toasted sandwich doesn't count. Own it. Also, you're Kim Kardashian. You don't need to cook. Correct. When is your kid? outed you. Taryn, what happened? Well, what you know, the kids have their swing set at home and every day they're like saying to me, Mum, have a swing. And I'm like, no, Mum's too sad. I can't get on your swing. <laughs> so one day I take them to the park and here they are swinging happily on the park and my oldest yells out, Mum, you can't get on the swing, hey, you're too fat. <laughs> Everybody stops and looks at me and I'm just like head down, shaking it, going, that's right, son, I'm too fat. <laughs> no, oh. no. Yeah, I've got to say, the kids, like the the kids' swings, they're very small. Yes, definitely. And they hurt your bum. Yes. If you yes. squeeze into them. That black rubber yes. strap. Yes. Yeah. All yes. the all the other ones, any of them, they're not built for booty, that's for sure. That's right. That's definitely right. Good on you, Taryn. Yeah. I'm going to send you a Priceline uh, voucher for that humiliation. Well done. <laughs> Jamie, when has your kid outed you? Well, my son, I, we went to a kindergarten Easter hunt mm. um, at a local park and parents started talking to me and they're like, are you Patrick's mum? And I was like, yes. And they're like, oh, my God, we thought you were dead. <laughs> my son had been going around kindy and telling everyone that his mother had died. <laughs> what did you do to him, Jamie? <laughs> I have got no idea. We had a few deaths in our little close proximity of a family, um, but I don't know what happened. And I had to go and talk to the educator and um, and she was like, oh, my gosh, I, I did have a couple of parents come and ask me. Um, she's like, I'm so sorry. I didn't think he was going to continue. Can I tell you that he will uh, – you must be worried about what sort of man he's going to grow up into, but I can assure you – that he will turn out okay because I said the same thing about my dad, concocted a whole story that he died in the war. It was 1982. There was no war. And um, oh. I know, and I did it to my neighbour and she brought around a casserole for my mum, my grieving mother. And mum's like, what are you talking about? Gary's in the living room. <laughs> so it sounds oh. very dark, but... He'll turn out okay, Jamie. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, you've got a Priceline voucher with your name on it, and let's finish with Marie. Hello, Marie. Hi. How are you, darling? Good, darling. What What have your kids been saying about you? Oh, my God. It was my daughter back in the few, very few years back. Um, it was, like, pretty much the night before Easter, Easter mm. Sunday. And anyway, they went to bed and blah, blah, and she got up during the night and she come in. And I said, you better go back to bed because Easter bunnies have had a sleepover. <laughs> and anyway, the next morning... Um, my parents rang them, wished Happy Easter as usual, and they said, oh, they were that excited that the Easter Bunny slept with Nanny, um, Bunny last night. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who, who was the I Easter said Bunny? I he had to sleep over because he, you were the last drop for the Easter eggs. You've got to be careful with that Easter Bunny. You know that bunnies have, like, eight babies at one time, Marie. <laughs> yeah. Do not trifle. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's Yes, quick Taylor Swift update. One, apparently it's all over Red Rover with Maddie Healy. That was short-lived. But I think, you know, a good rebound is always, you know, quick game. Fast quick. game's a good game. This was quite say. pressing this morning. You and I even had a phone call about it. We before, sure did. At about 10 a.m. And a, you weren't... A crisis meeting. You weren't phased by it. I was surprised. No, I'm not a fan of him. And I think that... It's good that they've split up. Um, But also, she was on stage last night in Chicago and she swallowed a bug. Have a listen. (laughs) Swallowed a bug. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Is there any chance that none of you saw that? Uh (laughs) (laughs) It's fine. It's all... It's... I've swallowed it. 
Right. And, and then she d- deadpans to the audience, delicious. <laughs> I love it. All right, now let's talk about this new show that everyone is loving. It is called... The Idol. Yes. So What, what is the premise? It's about a... Uh, a, a pop star. Imagine yeah. like a Dua Lipa. Yeah. And that role is played by Lily Rose Depp. Her yeah. name is Jocelyn. And it's essentially about all of her team around her, mm-hmm. her entourage, if you will. Yeah. And also, she, in the first step, meets this guy at a club who is The weekend. I'm not going to say too much more. No. But if you loved Euphoria... Yes. It's like Euphoria, but not as dark, but it is the best. Like, okay. I loved it. And it's on Binge slash Foxtel. So, yeah, it's fo- Foxtel On Demand. And it's oh, fo- fo- <laughs> Foxtel, and it's one ep per week. Only yes. one is available. I like that. I like to eke it out. You get time to look like to miss it and look forward yes, to it. Yes, absolutely. All right, I'll definitely check that out. We are out of here. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. The gorgeous Celia Pacola is coming in. I hope she brings her baby. I know. Or uh, she's just not allowed in. <laughs> okay, End cool. of story. We'll tell her. End of story. Have a gorgeous day. Tuesday evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.